Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial we will be talking about what are web workers inside JavaScript. So keep watching this tutorial, we will be explaining you in this tutorial. So first of all guys, web workers are especially, they are simple JavaScript files which are running in the background of the browser. If you are using Chrome browser, Firefox browser, they are simply JavaScript files which are running in the background to assist the main UI thread. To speed up the applications so if you are running on firefox or chrome they are the background files so why we we do we need to use web workers this is the first question that came into the question why we do not to do it so as you can see guys there are two threads out there first is the main thread which is controls the user interface of the application which whichever things that you see on the screen that is the buttons input fields it also consumes a lot of cpu also main thread guys it is responsible for that so that's why we need some kind of a mechanism so that we can put load of the main thread so that where web workers uh, just take the picture so basically you can create multiple web workers at one time to speed up the application and also it overall increases the speed and utility of the application and uh, then guys basically if, uh, if uh, in the scenario basically ui main ui thread is responsible for all the dom manipulation dom manipulation that you do like pressing the button or uh, input inputting inside the input field so whenever some input operation is there then the user will be stuck inside the application whenever any sort of big operation is happening let's suppose you are doing a very big operation fetching some data from a database or you are executing a very big for loop endless while loop some situations may occur inside your code some exceptions so in that scenario your user will wait for the app so that is not acceptable so you are stuck what you need to do right here we, the app is stuck so what to do so in this scenario guys web workers came to the rescue and they help the user in you can see that basically the how we declare <laughs> web worker is very much similar this is a syntax here <laughs> so we declare the web worker guys you can see that this is a syntax here we instantiate a new class um, object of the worker class which is there inside every browser so here we provide the path of the file so let's suppose you created worker.js file so your uh, line will become like this so here you will pass the reference of worker.js <coughs> so inside your worker.js guys what you need to write here so basically for every worker file guys there is a global variable called as self so inside this we will bind a on message event handler so whenever some message is coming from the main thread this message will be sent by the main ui thread so this contains all the information that you will need in order to process the information so this will be sent by the main thread and every worker thread guys as uh, as i already told you has a self variable this is not mandatory that you need to write self variable <coughs> so in every worker thread variable there is a self variable and we can get the actual value by the data property so we can simply write here message dot data to get the actual data which is passed so now we will get the scenario guys we will compare each file here first we will write the script.js and on the other hand we will write the worker.js so i will show you the comparison how this real time scenario occurs so this is a code that you can see guys self dot on message this is a code that we write on inside every worker.js file this is a syntax you can see that basically let me take a very simple example we will get the value we will convert this into an integer it's by using the parse int method of the javascript then guys we will declare a sum variable which will be equal to zero and then we will make a simple for loop and we will be looping through that number and then we will be calculating the sum of those numbers and this is the most important thing guys post message this is actual met method which is used by the worker thread to post the message to communicate this uh, sum back to the script.js main ui thread so inside this we are including this worker.js file you can see that guys we are storing it inside the worker object and then we are once again posting this 1 billion number we are passing this variable to 
worker.js using the post message variable and then again we have this on message event handler guys so whenever worker.js send this big data back to the ui thread we get this data inside our on message so you can see that we send this data using this post message method <coughs> so lastly guys this worker threads api provides two methods which is post message which is useful to send the data from uh, worker thread to the main ui thread or vice versa and then we have the second on message event handler which is responsible for receiving that data this is the event handler that's it so thank you very much for watching this video